So it's the winter time. We got dumped on with snow. Only about six inches, uh, between six to eight inches. So we're gonna. I plowed my hand this area, and you know it's okay. Put some ice melt on there. It'll get it the rest of the way. But as you see here, I got a big pallet. This is pretty dense and pretty heavy, and I got 550 cords strapped to uh, to the pallet and the jeep on these little D rings. So I'm going to do a little bit of a redneck uh, snow plow because I can't get anybody to come out and plow my driveway, so i got to plow out a driving path. I've never done this before. We'll see how it works. So, you ready for that? Totally. All right, here he goes. All right. Well, let's see how this works. hope it doesn't hit the Jeep. So not working. Okay, so it wasn't exactly too successful with the pallet uh, alone. So Serena here is going to put weight on the back, and we're going to go ahead and drag it, and uh, hopefully get it a little deeper in the snow. So I mean, I could strap a weight, a bunch of weights on there, but you know, this she, is funner. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm showing him what a true Alaskan's like. Yeah. All right, and you get to see it from the back end. Yeah. Oh yeah, this definitely beats shoveling. Do this a couple of times and we got it down. I think we got this now. Pallet, I'm sitting on the back of it. Pushing it down. You can see the push. And there's a bump. Weeha! And he's going a little faster on the way. This kind of reminds me of when we went on a snow machine when I was younger. And we used to put we used to put a car hood on the back of the snow machine and ride on it like a kid. And if it if you slid off, then you just slid off into the snow. So this is kind of fun like that. Brings back memories that way. And so as you see, dragging my foot in it. It's getting this kind of... And there he goes. So, yeah, that was fun.